Masabid West County is one of the most remote and deprived areas in Kenya. But now dramatic changes are underway. Hundreds of windmills would be placed on the dry and bare ridges not far from Lake Turkana. In 2017, they'll form the largest wind farm in Africa. Lake Turkana is, uh, is one of our flagship projects and uh, we are happy that uh, we are home to such a monumental project and as many people uh, invest in renewable energy it, it will of course lower the prices it will be good for the for the region to go that way this is 623 million euros uh, it's the largest single private investment ever happened in kenya lake Turkana wind power project is an immensely important contribution to changing first of all the perception about the importance and the scalability of renewable energy on this continent. We are very happy that uh, it's a renewable source and that uh, it's going to be rel relatively cheaper than other sources and so that we are able to, 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 to make this country uh, an industrial hub where investors can manufacture for the world. Why can't we have a small China in, in, in Kenya? Denmark has an enormous input on this project, according to Carlo van Wageningen, one of the founding fathers and partners of the project. We have uh, uh, 120 million euros uh, being provided as a guarantee from uh, uh, EKF, uh, the, the Export Credit Agency of Denmark. We have a 6.25 um, uh, participation by IFU and uh, then of course uh, all the turbines, so this is Danish technology. For Vestas this represents the biggest project in Africa to date and it's one of the biggest EPC projects that we are doing so far. The, uh, we are obviously 365 turbines. It's an enormous challenge. Um, it's a fantastic challenge to be a part of, and, um, and we're really looking forward to it. The Danish investment fund, IFU, invests 87 million Danish kroner in the wind farm and sees it as a good investment for Kenya. When we are constructing uh, 365 wind turbines or uh, 310 uh, megawatts, I mean we are we are replacing a lot of heavy fuel which would be imported. So there's a huge savings there um, for the environment. Uh, we have calculated uh, uh, an amount of uh, 16 million tons of CO2, um, which will be saved um, on this project per year when it's up and running. Actually, IFU represents the newly established Danish Climate Investment Fund, which also has private investors like Danish pension funds on board. We expect in the Climate Fund to have an average return over the years of about 12%. It's important that there is a return. Without a return, there will be no investments and there will be no wind park here at all. Isaac Kiva of the Kenya Ministry for Energy and Petroleum agrees. We do realize those who invest will require a reasonable return. But in the end, it is the country which, which gains. Because we don't have that money from our exchequer to be able to develop the energy sector the way we want. It took almost 10 years and was in many ways an uphill battle to get the Lake Turkana wind power project to take off. But now the huge wind farm is a reality. To the local community in the dry and remote area, the wind farm signals dramatic changes. Before we didn't have any water. We used to people used to go like uh, like 30 kilometers from here to go and fetch water. But now we have water. People are drinking water now. They can wash their clothes. They can shower, and the animals can get uh, can get water. People are happy, very happy. People are benefiting a lot here. Yeah.